So the other day I went out and got an X-Tool D1 laser engraver. Um, still learning how to use it. Uh, figured out how to center my project. I was trying to find online a lot of ways to center projects. I'm using the Creative Space tool that came with it or the software. It looks similar to the Cricut software, which I'm familiar with, so I wanted to go ahead and try to use it first. I saw a lot of people are using like Laser Etch or Laser Beam or Laser Bright or something else. Uh, I'm gonna try this software at first. I've used it for a couple days now. I found a way to center your project pretty easy. Uh, a lot of the ones I were finding online were showing you how the crosshairs aren't set up right and they're offset. Uh, how to line up the project square, you did the framing tool, but none of them really showed me how to just center my project. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Alright, so when you turn on your machine, the crosshair lights up. I've got a cutting board here. I want to just put my logo on it. My logo is about one and three quarter inches in diameter. Um, so I'm going to call it like two and a half just to give me enough room so I'm not cutting off the edge of my board here. If you look online, some of the other videos show you, basically you take the laser, you line it up, to the edge of your project and then when you hit the framing button it comes around draws a little square you adjust it you move it around until you get it where you need it at what i want to do is measure off of the bottom of my unit here my unit's flat on the edge of my desk if i wanted to do that i would measure out here and line up my project so it's perfectly straight they make a cutting mat that goes under here it's got grid marks on it you line it up it makes it a lot easier what i want to do is i just want to find the bottom right hand corner of this and put my little one and three quarter inch logo on here so in order to do that i'm going to find where i want to put my logo out in the first place so if my logo is one and three quarter inches if i did it it would take up the whole bottom circle i don't want to kind of i don't want to go down that far so i'm going to come in like two and a quarter inches and then go up two and a quarter inches now i'm using a pencil this will come off with a little soap and water magic eraser uh, a little bit of oil when you oil your board it'll come off i'm not making a real mark or dark mark i'm just making it dark enough i can see it the next thing i need to do is find the center of this oh, that i just drew so i'm gonna get close i'm gonna ballpark it i'm gonna go one and one eighth inch in make a small mark one and one eighth inch in So right here is the middle of my mark. I'm gonna make this a little darker than I normally do just so it's easier for you to see. So right here, this is my two and a quarter inch square. This is one and one eighth inch here. So when I cut this, it'll cut right on the center of this here. Okay, so I'm in my um, X-Tool Creative Space software here. Here's my design. I think it's a little bit bigger so you can see it. What I want to do is I want to go up here to the tools. So I'm going to click on the little settings gear. When it comes up here with this, I'm going to go to working parameters. I want to change this from red cross to laser spot. Now when I do that, you'll notice the grid in the background changes. I just want to close that. And now when I go to process, you'll see on the left hand side here, this laser spot is now uh, enableable. Enableable. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to start my project from the center. So when we go back out to our board now, instead of a red crosshair, we're going to have a blue dot on our board. It's a little bit hard to see through the orange film, but there's definitely a dot right there. That is a laser. I'm going to take this and we'll move it down to where the dot lines up over my little X I made. This is right there. When we go back inside, we're going to hit the framing button, and then we're going to process it. So now that I've lined up my laser, I'm going to hit framing. We'll go push the framing button. And just to double check, as you can see, I'm right inside my square. So it should cut right inside the line again. I'm going to circle them, so it should be perfectly fine. Next step after that, framing complete. We're going to hit start. Make sure you hit the start button, because if not, it'll print the last thing that you sent to the uh, unit. I found that out the hard way. Don't want to hit complete yet until we're done. We're going to go back out there and we're going to start burning it in. So back to the unit. Make sure you don't look at the laser. Use your green goggles if you're going to watch it burn. I'm going to hit the start button now. We're going to burn it in. Okay. 
And then once my project is done, pull it out. And as you can see, I mean, that's pretty much spot on. I mean, I can't get much better than that. Fast, easy way of pulling it. Um, again, I looked online. I couldn't find anything that showed me any faster how to do that. I could offset it if I want to, turn it sideways, upside down, put it in the middle board. doesn't matter with that technique. You can put that thing in the center of anything you want. So that's how you line your project up to the center using the Xtool D1, fastest way I found. Again, I watched 15 videos probably, not criticizing anybody's work. That just didn't work for me. That was fast and easy. I know a lot of people are using different software. The software that comes with it is perfectly fine for me. I'll be doing a lot more videos on this. Uh, please click on like, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what it worked for you. Let me know if you have a better idea, worse idea, tell me it was a bad idea. Uh, I don't mind comments. I don't mind negative, positive. I appreciate more, uh, but I can handle negative criticism too. Again, if you're doing a noodle board or anything like that, if you want to find the dead center of your board, measure left, right, up, down, make a dot, line your laser up, hit the button. Have a good day.